Hi and welcome to my channel. It's almost the first weekend of the new year and I hope your heart is full of gratitude, you are in high spirits and the new year brings a fresh start. So we got New Year's resolutions. So how many of you watching me today have New Year's resolutions? <laughs> how many have vowed to stay fit in 2020? Hey! And how many have vowed to be faithful to their partners, save more money, quit drinking, pray more, get closer to God, all exciting new goals. Statistics do say that we all stick with that until mid-February. So it only takes about 17 days to forget the resolutions that we make. So come January 17, most of us will be back to our old selves. And it's not that we don't have the desire to change. We just don't stick with it for the long haul. So in this broadcast today, I want to talk to you about your growth plan for 2020. And this is a faith-based uh, program, so I'm going to be sharing them some verses. In Luke chapter 2, it says, it shows us how Jesus grew. It says, Jesus grew in wisdom, in body, in achievement, and in approval. He had favor both with God and with man. So in this coming year, you got to have a growth plan. So you got to choose the areas of your growth and then create an environment that will support your growth. You got to see and visualize your tomorrow and then get fired up by what it is coming. So plan to do things that you've never done so that you can grow in the areas that you've never grown. Go to conferences if you must. Read books so that it can cause you to stretch. So don't give your mind some comfort food. Seek outside the box kind of wisdom and expect unconventional results. So if you use conventional wisdom, you're going to get conventional results. So you got to expand yourself. You know, one area that I think should be in your growth plan this coming year is growing your consistency. So don't fall for the easy steps to lose weight. Five easy ways to have thin thighs or five easy ways to make a million shillings or a million dollars in two months. A pill to help you shed like 20 kilos within a week. You know, one day I was listening to a commercial, it was an ad, and it was selling this magic pill that tells you you're going to lose about 20, 20 pounds in like two weeks. And it said that it's going to take care of gas and water that is stuck in your stomach. So it means that all these years you've been bloated and the pill is just going to take care of that. So easy ways, easy solutions that produce no results. You know, your financial freedom and having a healthy body will run away from you because you're seeking an easy way out. You know, sometimes... We have to learn the hard way as human beings. Sometimes we need to lose our money in the drain chasing like easy things. And sometimes we're going to have people wasting our times before we, le we, le we really learn that the hard way is the right way to do things. So you're going to face resistance when you start something new. At the beginning of everything, you don't see enough progress. So you struggle to get things going. But once you reach a certain point, things will go smoothly. So it's like a rocket ship when it takes off. A rocket ship spends about 80% of the fuel during takeoff. And once it reaches a certain point, it flies so smoothly with minimal consumption. So don't stop when things are hard because they're going to be hard. In the beginning for the short term short term is not gonna be easy so motivation is really gonna get you going but you just don't want to depend on motivation you want to get the process because that's gonna sustain you you must have a consistency plan it is not the most fancy thing you know they say it takes about 10,000 hours for anyone to become an expert in something. And I know that's kind of discouraging for someone who is a beginner, but it but you know what? A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And you don't have to see the entire 
entire staircase. You just need to take care of the first step that you're starting today. You know, there is a popular Chinese proverb that says the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. And the second best time is now. I don't know if any of you know John Maxwell, but he has a rule called the rule of five. And the rule of five says that if you have a tree in your backyard and that you want to cut it down and you have an axe, so you want to pretend this is an axe, all you do is every day take the axe and swing five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then put the axe down. And then the next day, do the same. Pick up the axe, swing it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Put the axe down. The next day, do the same. Not 50 times, not 500 times, not a thousand times. Just five swings every day. The rule of five says that if you do that every day, eventually what's going to happen? The tree will fall. So... You have to find your tree and find the right tool to swing at it every day until your tree falls. If it's a big tree, it's going to take a while, maybe a year, maybe two years, or maybe 10 years, who knows. But what we know is eventually the tree will fall. So you take the axe, not someday, not Sunday, not sometimes, but every day until your, fall, you, you, until your tree falls. I know the excitement of a new year will make you want to kill that tree the first day. And guess what? On the second day, you won't want to see that tree again or that axe. Why? Because you did too much in one day. So, you know, we overestimate what we can do in one day and then we underestimate what we can do in many days so you're better doing little bit every day you don't need to be the smartest in the room or the strongest all you need to do is be consistent take your axe every day until it becomes a habit you want it to become like when you're brushing your teeth you know you don't think about it. You just know I need to brush my teeth no matter what, no matter where you are. You take your toothbrush and you brush your teeth every day. So you don't ask yourself, do I feel like brushing my teeth today? No, it's not like a negotiation because that's what you do because it's a habit. You know, the authors of this book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, they wanted this book to be a bestseller. And they applied the rule of five. They committed to taking five daily actions every day. They booked five radio interviews every day. They sent out five copies to, to editors. They called five network agencies and asked them to review their books. They gave out free, five free seminars. And a lot of effort was put in doing five things every day towards their goal. And two years later, this book was in the New York best-selling list, and it sold over 8 million copies. But it took a sustained effort of doing five things daily. So imagine what you could accomplish doing a little every day. You can apply this principle in your New Year's goals. If you want to go on a diet, think of five actions to take to help you lose weight. The obvious, obviously, is exercise and eat healthy. But what other actions could help you move to your goal in the long term? Think of long term. Maybe learn a new recipe. Take the stairs instead of an escalator one day. Email a health professional for advice. Join a Facebook group. Read an article on weight loss. I don't know. But take a small step every day. Or buy a dress that is smaller than your current size. And you know what? It doesn't have to be five things. You can choose two things. <laughs> and then do it every day until you accomplish your goal. So you got to swing at it every day until the behavior sticks. Until it sticks. So I hope that was helpful. Isn't that doable? I hope so. I appreciate you guys very much. 
I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for praying for me, for watching this. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't and share this with a friend. I will see you again next year. Merry Christmas to all of you.